Testing one, two. Okay, we're good. You ready? Yeah. All right, we're going to go ahead and start our media availabilities this morning here at Richmond International Raceway with Chase Elliott, driver of the number nine Napa Auto Parts Chevrolet in the NASCAR Nationwide Series. Chase currently leads, leads the NASCAR Nationwide Series um, championship standings by 15 points over his teammate Regan Smith. And Chase, you had a second place finish here in the spring and talk a little bit about um, coming back to Richmond and then um, obviously with the, with the points lead um, as we near, I believe, nine races to go um, before Homestead. Yeah, it was. Uh, we had a had a pretty good run here in the spring race. Um, I, we, there was uh, times where I thought we were pretty close to Kevin, and then by the last run, we uh, I think kind of adjusted a little bit too much and kind of got back to where he was. Um, you know, he was way better than we were. So um, I, I feel like we're capable of, of running with them, and um, I think we were capable of it last race. So we just we kind of missed it on the last adjustment, and um, hopefully we can try to better our uh, run from here in the spring and. Uh, that'd be, uh, I'd be very much so happy with that. So hopefully we can, we can achieve our goals. All right. We'll go ahead and open for questions for Chase. If you have one, please raise your hand and state your name and affiliation. Okay. We'll start with Chris. Chris Mike Hey Chase. Um, Goodyear's brought a new tire here this weekend. Um, just can wonder your thoughts on that. Yeah. I'd, I'll be honest with you. I really don't know. Uh, I really don't know anything about it. Um, but what I do know is it's the same for everybody. So in reality, it really doesn't matter. Uh, it's kind of the way I see it. Okay. And uh, do you start going cons conservation mode with the points as far as with nine races left, or are you still gunning for get as big of a lead as you can? I mean, I, I think uh, each race you show up to, I think you, you, your goals should never change from week one to week thirty-three. I mean, I feel like if you're if you're here and you're showing up, I, th I think your uh, your goals, at least for me, should should be to try to win the race, and that's uh, that's the way I look at it, and that's the way I look at it now throughout the rest of the season. All right, go ahead. Chase in the back, Lane Casadante with CBS here in Richmond. How, what, if any, advice do you get from your dad and everybody else about being in a championship uh, race this at this point in the season? Uh, yeah, honestly, I haven't really said much about it. Um, for to to be completely honest, but we, you know, it's um, you just kind of take it a week a week at a time, and you know, I think a lot of stuff you have to kind of learn on your own, and yeah, um, until you're in in those positions, I don't know that somebody can really tell you, uh, you know, a lot, and because they don't, like, everybody takes that position differently. So um, for me, I try to look each week the same, and I uh, look at it the same as I looked at it when, when we got to Daytona at the beginning of the year. So that, that's the way I. Um, I go about it. I don't know if that's right or wrong, but you know my goals are uh, when we show up at the racetrack each weekend, at least for us on the nine team, uh, we're there to win, and um, you know the, our, our goals are not going to change from from week to week. Uh, uh, that's what we're shooting for every time we show up at the racetrack, no matter what. Kenny, go ahead. Kenny Bruce with NASCAR.com. Chase, when you look back on this this season, where do you feel like you guys have improved the most? And where do you guys still need to improve going into these last few races? Um, I think um, I think our communication has improved a lot from the beginning of the season, and um, you know I think really just kind of that whole aspect. I think a lot of stuff comes with it from uh, post race notes to to everything. I think all that stuff has gotten better throughout the year, and um, each week I try to really be be descriptive in my post-race notes and especially these racetracks that we come to twice a year um you know it, it you may not think it's that beneficial but when, yeah, there's a lot of races in between those 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 tracks and uh, you can forget little things that you picked up throughout the race so for me to be able to go back and and look at that stuff is helpful and um or i hope it is at least and uh so i, I think the communi communication has definitely gotten better um there's been tracks where i feel like we've improved upon you know, I thought uh, from the first Iowa race to the second Iowa, I thought was a, a big improvement. And from uh, the first Bristol to the second Bristol, I thought was a really big improvement. So I hope that from the first Richmond to this Richmond is an improvement. And if so, I think um, I'd, I'd be I'd be happy with it. So I think uh, we're, we're capable of doing that. We just got to make sure we keep trying to get better, you know, especially these places we show up to a second time. And uh, hopefully that'll be the case here at Richmond. Was the post-race notes was – the post-race notes, was that something new for you that you had to sort of learn, get used to doing? 
Yeah, a little bit. I, I did a little bit of it last year. Um, nothing, uh, nothing quite like what we do now, but um, I, I, did, I did a little bit of, of stuff last year, kind of just personally for my own, uh, my own knowledge, but um, nothing, uh, nothing like what we do, um, or what we've done this year at least. Chipper Air 8 News here in Richmond. Uh, back in April, there was a lot of trouble with uh, the tires on this track across all the races, and I know everyone's been trying to figure out how they're going to strategize going into this championship race. What are you guys trying to do specifically to, to counter those uh, tire struggles? Yeah, well, I mean, uh, like that, like uh, Chris asked, they, they did bring a different tire here this time, and um, I guess the, they, they ran the multi-zone tire uh, that Goodyear produced the, the first race here. And it had a harder inside edge and a softer outside edge, so um, to to make tires really matter and and to so they'd wear out and they, and they definitely did and and I thought that um, the racing was it was a very fine line because here in the spring you, the the tires would start off run normal it wouldn't be any different and then as you ran they would really really wear out really bad and um, a lot of guys you know ran down to the cords and they start to come apart so. I think a lot of that was just the difference from one side of the tire being soft and the other side being harder. Um, but really, until we go race, I don't know if it'll be any different or not, to be honest with you. So I don't, uh, I don't really know what to expect there. Um, I, I don't assume it will be very much different. But uh, like I said before, it's the same for everybody. So uh, hopefully we can just figure it out uh, throughout practice and kind of see what to expect. But um, everybody has the same tires, so I, I don't really know. Here next, Eric Jones. Eric Jones in the pits racing radio. Chase, you guys practice during the daytime here. What do you look for to get a feel in the car, knowing the track's going to tighten up? Are you looking to practice the car with it being quite a bit free? Uh, not really. I think um, just looking from last race to this race, I didn't really see that the track changed much at all. <laughs> um, honestly, from daytime to nighttime, I. My personal thought on that is, uh, and what I've seen in the past, I think if you're good during the daytime, you'll be good at night. Um, just kind of my personal opinion. I think if you're tight during the daytime, you'll be that much tighter at night. Or if you're loose during the daytime, you'll be that much looser at night. So I don't really expect it to change a whole lot. I think whatever you're fighting uh, will just be maximized uh, when the sun goes down. All right, Chris, go ahead. Chris Knight, .com. Again, Chase, you attended the Xfinity announcement yesterday at the NASCAR Hall of Fame. Um, you're going to be racing in the, in the NASCAR Xfinity Series next year. How big of it? How big of it? This is a significance for NASCAR to bring a new sponsor in for as much money as they're investing in for the length of the contract. Yeah, I actually was not there yesterday, um, but I, I do know it is a it is very big, and I'm uh, I'm really happy for NASCAR and for Xfinity as well. I think that's a great relationship, and um, you know, Nationwide has done a great job with this series the past number of years, and. From what I've seen on the outside looking in and certainly being a part of it this year, they've done a great job. And uh, I definitely expect uh, Xfinity will, will do their part just like Nationwide did. So I'm looking forward to looking forward to getting in the next year and, and really seeing what they're all about. And, um, you yeah, I'm excited about the partnership. I think I think that's big. And with the way um, with the way the world's changing and you know everything is kind of technologically based, I think having a company like that that uh, can really kind of take you know the races and streaming them online and, and doing a lot of different stuff I think they have a lot of uh, they have a lot of pull to to really make things better and and be able to reach it from different areas so I'm excited about that and seeing what they can do and um, I, like I said I think it's a good partnership all right any final questions for Chase okay we'll come up front uh, Marty O'Brien with the Daily Press I uh, just wanted to ask you being as young as you are uh, that the guys that you're going up against for the nationwide title or uh, veterans, just talk a little bit about them and the challenge of uh, going against guys with so much experience. I mean, certainly, I, um, you know, for me, I, you know, I respect those guys, and they, uh, you know, they're, they're definitely, they're, they've been racing for a long time, man, and they, they know what they're doing. And um, uh, fortunately, one of them is, is on my team, and I can go to him and ask him questions and, and uh, utilize some of that knowledge. So, um, you know, I, I think um, that they're definitely in the position they're in for a reason, and those guys are capable of getting the job done. And, um, you know, hopefully we can, you know, I just hope we can battle it out with them throughout the rest of the season, and we can just be, um, be in the hunt, come homestead. That, that, that's our goal. So um, hopefully that's the case. And, um, you know, I know that, like I said, those guys are very talented, and uh, th th they've been in these positions before. So 
hopefully we can uh, we can figure out a way to hang with them. All right. Any additional questions for Chase? All right, Chase, thanks for your time today. Best of luck this weekend. Thank you.